The dashboard is the first thing you see when you log into your MeisterTask account. This is a personal area that provides you with the most important information at a glance, starting with your active projects. The projects that show up here are either projects you've created yourself or projects you've been invited to by other people. To bring some structure into this list, you can group projects, for instance, by category. Note that the group structure you create is not shared with any of your collaborators, even if you're part of a team. To create a group, simply click on the plus button and select New Project Group. Give your group a name and then click Confirm. You can move projects into this new group by dragging and dropping them onto the group's name. Remember when I said this is a list of your active projects? That's because there are also other kinds, namely team projects, archive projects, and trashed projects. When you complete a project, or simply don't need it anymore, the best thing to do is archive it. Archived projects remain in your account indefinitely, so you can always go back into the project and either restore it, or if you want to get rid of it completely, trash it. Once a project has been trashed, you have a window of 30 days to restore it again. If you don't, the project will be deleted permanently. Lastly, there are team projects. These are projects you weren't personally invited to. Instead, a member of your business team made them available for the whole team so everybody can view them. If team members want to actively work on such a project, they can join it of their own accord. Let's take a look at how to create regular and team projects. To create a new project from scratch, you click on the plus button and select New Project. In this dialog, the only thing you really have to do is provide a name for your project. If you do nothing else, the project will be private. Nobody but you will have access to it. If you want others to collaborate with you on the project, you can invite them via email. If you're on MeisterTask's business plan, you can also select roles and permissions for your collaborators to keep them from making unwanted changes to the project's structure or its tasks. By default, the project will only be visible to you and the people you've invited. But, if you select everybody in the team, this will create a team project, which all team members can see. All right, I'm going to click Cancel now because there's a lot more to see on the dashboard. On the right, you'll see a list of notifications from your collaborators. MeisterTask sends you a notification whenever something happens that is relevant to you, such as, somebody assigned you a task, somebody completed a task you were watching, somebody left a comment on a task that was already assigned to you, or somebody left a comment and mentioned you directly. Once you've reviewed a notification, you can either click on the X to mark it as red, or you can click on the notification itself in order to open the related task and respond to the notification in some way. Sometimes, a quick thumbs up is all it takes. If you need to see a previously read notification, just click on the word Notifications and then select Show All. All right, next to Notifications, you'll find a list of all your active tasks from all your projects. This list can get pretty long, but don't worry. First of all, you can sort these tasks, for instance, by project or due date. And secondly, you can apply filters. I've created these filter categories myself, using MeisterTask's Agenda feature. And you can learn all about this in our dedicated tutorial video about how to use Agenda. For now, just know that this is a great way to display only those tasks you currently want to focus on. Above the list of your tasks, you can also show a personal checklist. This is a list where you can quickly note down random to-dos that come up during the day. They're not fully-fledged tasks and, as such, aren't related to any particular project. If you mark an item as completed, it will simply disappear from your dashboard. If, however, one of these to-dos turns out to be bigger and more complex than you thought, you can always turn it into a real task on a project. Simply select which project you'd like to add it to. The third dashboard widget you can display is your track time. MeisterTask allows you to track the time you spend on tasks right inside the app, 
and any time slips you've created within the last seven days will appear here on your dashboard. Clicking on the play button of a slip will start the time tracking again, so you don't actually have to navigate to the task and open it in order to continue working on it. By the way, you can also create new tasks directly from your dashboard without opening a specific project first. Just click on the plus button, put in the task title, and then select which project and section the task should be added to. Once the task dialog opens, you'll be able to assign the task and add more information to it if needed. To really make Meister Tasks dashboard your own, you can not only choose which widgets to display here, but also select a background color or image you like. Pro and business users can even upload their own background images.